Hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome back. This is more Phoenix Wright. Um, as I was sitting here, uh, I'm getting ready for stream. I that stupid record thing is back up, and that's really obnoxious. How did I fix that? Uh. Um, we're gonna be playing some more Ace Attorney, obviously. I'm gonna try to figure this out because it's gonna annoy me. Plus, this one's worse because it's literally right in the middle of the game. So, I'm not down for that. What's going on, Kira? What's going on, Cortanus? Appreciate the lurk. Very much so. Uh,. All these settings are turned off. So why are you turning them on, Steam? The fuck. That's super annoying. like the first time that the the steam thing is working <laughs> but i don't want it to show that stuff it's obnoxious how do i there's there's got to be a way to turn that off oh nope off that it, everything's off it's like it's like when we were playing Baldur's Gate and the 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 PP showed up even though nudity was turned off. Oh dude, this is annoying. All right, hold on. That's enough of that garbage. All right, I don't know what that is. So, whatever. We're dealing with it. Also, my heart rate monitor. Uh I was trying to get that set up and uh it's throwing a conniption. What's, what does that mean? What is what is throwing a conniption? Also, can I choose the thing? Because if I continue, we, we finished one yesterday. So is it just? Yes, it is. I remember the boat. It's been what? Fifteen years? About that, yes. Was it Akatsuki back there? Fifteen years is a long time to wait. Can't imagine how much I've suffered. Excuse me, definitely Akatsuki. You've suffered. Excuse me. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Ah! Merry Christmas. I my I can still hear my thing in the background. How? Oh my god, it's Edgeworth! He shot someone. Hold on a minute. Why do I still hear myself? I'm gonna lose my mind here, dudes. I don't hear myself anymore. Is it because I'm confused? It stopped. I didn't do anything. I'm very confused. Hey, Nick. Uh, also, I was gonna, I was starving. So I ate like a banana on the way down here. To start stream and then i was like oh i'm gonna bring some donuts so i can scarf a couple in milk for a stream start and then i got wrapped up fixing that dang overlay so i got no donuts they're sitting here staring at me with the sealed package very rude hey, hey nick you know if there are any good waterfalls around here waterfalls dare i ask why also it looks like the game audio uh Switched back over to 
not what it's supposed to be. That's kind of annoying. What if I... Is it going to come back? You guys don't hear doubling, do you? Like, you don't hear doubling of the game or me? Because I don't anymore. Waterfalls there, I ask why? Yeah, Nick, isn't it obvious? Uh... I need a waterfall to stand on and preferably a freezing one. Why? Why cold waterfall? Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um... Okay, if you knew that was part of your training, wouldn't you already know where a cold waterfall would be? Appreciate it, Kira. I don't know about any falls, per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Don't you just take a cold shower or something? <laughs> Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified, un unidentified animal is at the Gord Lake. <gasps> Are we going to see Nessie? The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. In a trip of, in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though its, though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax, <sighs> you lie. Locals are con confident their Gordy is the real deal. Ugh, boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick, the water pressure's kind of low in that shower. We have a shower in the office. You want more pressure, huh? I didn't go down to the fire department and have them spray you down with a hose. Good idea, Nick. Wait, no. Apparently, Fade Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed. This revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edwards, age 24. Fuck! Edwards was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career as he thrown it all away. But Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like that. Nick! Ah! M Maya! Fireman yelled at me when I called him! Oh my god. She, she seriously tried it. We've got bigger problems, bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Oh, excuse me, I apologize. Yeah, he's the suspect in murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? That's pretty much all of them. I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. I got anything to present? Nope. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm a lawyer! You know, I think it's developing an eyes luster. I'll look at your badge later, Nick! <laughs> We've got work to do! I suppose you're right. That's funny. Yo! My dude. What's going on? You know, Nick? We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? A few times. I guess it comes to the territory. Whew. I'm not sure it's something we should mend in. Bunch too many people. What are you doing here? Why are you giving me that face? Ah. Go sit in the chair. Hey! Edwards, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's a very good moon. He's in a very good moon. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you got here? <laughs> or were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? It's not that funny. Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laughing he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time. We can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. <laughs> Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. 
I didn't want to see like this either, believe me. Oh my god. He's so fucking... He's so fucking edgy. What happened? Edgemers, Edwards, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Oh, I'm going to help you, but that's what... Help me. You? That would be ridiculous. I asked that. Come on. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. And I won every one of them. And guess what? You were the opposer. And I beat you every three times. Accept my help, asshat. Hey. Sure, you got lucky and won all three. Your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick, why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, right? Correct? Yes. Lead last night. The lake is a long way from your office in the courthouse. Why are you down there? I apologize. I don't know why I'm so yawning. I see no need to tell you. Oh, there we go. Mr. Edgeworth? You, you didn't really... Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edward talk to us? Because he needs to... He's got that sweet, sweet edge and he needs to be all dark and so foreboding and edgy. The dark and haunted past. He's a, he's a fucking rogue in D&D. &D. Later, Tater. Or Lake Nature Park. December 25th is Christmas. Aw, oh, man. What are we doing out here on Christmas? This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. Ooh, holy crap. I'm sorry. I can see some police walking around in here. I can see some police walking around in here. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gunshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the devil. B but sure. There weren't any clues. That's why they, we arrested the attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. Just you try saying that again. I'll... I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Y yes sir Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits! <laughs> ah! Eek! Hey! You're that guy! Hairy... Hairy guy! Hairy butts! Wait, what? You're getting me confused again. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? Aw, I thought we were becoming friends. And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, yeah, yeah? I suppose? Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! Okay. He seems different than usual. I wonder... Er. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, this word just hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Ah. Uh. Oh. You don't say. What happened? Detective Gumshoe, you know what happened here? Ah, uh, you don't know, pal! No. Ah, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy... Head in the Fluffy Bean Clouds lawyer. Head... Head in the... What? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened late last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat after Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Ed... Or wait, and the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? I didn't see who said that. The cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get here so fast? Well, there was a way. 
Uh, oh no, I'm yawning. Apologize. There was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Who was this witness? Uh, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up on the trial tomorrow. I'm sure there's a killer. He's being framed. Was there only... Was there only that one witness? Yep, he was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting for me? What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Uh, Edgeworth. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. All right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. You really, you really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking an investigation that seriously. Oh, no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us. Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. You know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story. But apparently no one's been talking... No one he's been talking to will take his case. But why not? His address won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a good job to do. How about Mr. Edgeworth? Prove that badge he wears in some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Okay. Here, I'm an attorney. That badge! You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. <laughs> you gotta show it to someone who needs it. All right. Oops. Uh... Let me, let me check out some things here. These creepy trees. Still winter chill from the bare leaves. Leaf trees today. What is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know. But my toes are starting to feel numb. He's probably wearing sandals. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. Got a light. A trash can. Got a bunch of... Ah, oh, there's... There's nothing to observe here. Sign, probably. Sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. How many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya? Interesting. All right. Go back here. Stop for the camera. Guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since he came in. Real pro. Maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in the room. The same guy every time. Hey! Hey! I'm a lawyer, sucker. Go oh, to his badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Ha. Ha ha ha. Good one, right? I'm not that hard up. Not yet. But I am. I do have a hard on. What do you mean by that? He just a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. Well, might as well pick me up then. I'm, it's me or nothing, sucker. What? Simply but they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. I'm pretty sure he's in love with me. I'm almost, almost certain. Yeah, you yeah, saw this. It's weird that it should pop that back up again.
Edgeworth. It's really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? <sighs> Excuse me. Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Oh, you know what? Is, is Dick still running? Hold on. Just realized. It should be. Internet connection lost. That's a, wait. Did I lose internet? I hope I didn't lose internet. Doesn't say I have. Usually, something like that happens. It says... You've disconnected from chat. Bobbity 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 boo. Doesn't look like that's the case. Okay. I think it's just lying to me. Thank you, Kira. Look, just go away and leave me alone. I can't stand looking at that caught buttocks. I love to watch you leave. Nick! He did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate somewhere. Here. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If he defended him and lost, your reputation would sure suffer. What's more, the case against him is. Well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edwards helped you get your client declared innocent. Uh, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. We re he really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him take talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Was his back turned and it was his arm moving furiously? Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last thing you want to ask me about before I head back? Oh. Yeah, the officer's story. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. I haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. You can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Eh, uh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? All right, here's my cell phone number. Yeah, I'll show you how to get a hold, get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Nice. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we'd like to take a look around the, in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick? I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Dude, those fucking birds are back. Yeah, they don't have to... They don't have... And they see they just all of a sudden started showing up. It's really awkward. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get to investigating. Ford Lake Public Beach. This is Gord Lake. Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at the snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want Samurai Dog, please. That's so great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. Trash can? Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. 
Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Hey, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well. Oh, well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Is that true? No way. I don't believe it. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd with when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually. But that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Did I just pull on her leg? Huh. I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Line up of plastic benches, I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. Don't eat the dog! I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this, except maybe Maya. If she had a samurai dog. Huh? Someone left some poppers here. You know, pull... You know, you pull the string, and it goes, pop! Yeah, I know the ones. See them a lot near New Year's. Hey, Nick! It might be a clue! I was gonna say, those are gonna be the, the gunshot, right? Let's take them! Come on, I minute. Mean, you just wanna pop them, right? Is that obvious? Poppers. Put them in your mouth. Hmm. Sure, we'll take them. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? In my pocket. Pull the string, goes bang. Not very clue, really. Poppers put in pocket. <laughs> Hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Let's go to the woods. Ooh, someone's recording here. That's suspicious. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. There's no camping. You got guts camping at the scene of a murder and right next to the no camping sign. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Or they are the murderers and they were just setting up Edgeworth. Good call, Maya. Let's talk to them. Hey, Nick! What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering why, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. Or they didn't talk about that in any of the law books. But there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> there's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Okay, nothing else. Sign says no camping. Funny place to pick... to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign says... No sitting tents on fire. I don't think they, they have signs like that. Oh. She's losing her marbles. This SUV has seen better days. It looks fine to me. It's dented all over. It looks perfect. Can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Come on, move over that. Camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh? Huh? Nick! We stop that. Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it's set to respond to voices. Aha. What then? These things? The party poppers? Yeah, see? Sus. Well, it responded. Yeah! Oh, God. Got a new friend. Hey, you, get your hands off that! <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? Look what you done. There goes a whole world of film. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Sorry's nice, but don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of this film costs? I'll pay you back. What are y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I 
know how y'all yanks think. Are you not an American? I say those southern folks talk with the exaggerated draw why the why they must be dumb. But let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. <laughs> Nick, help. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no. Other, uh, sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all are gonna, gonna say and say it for Jesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through an open pawpaw's drowl than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for, for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. Second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Oh boy. Hey, I'm a lawyer. Uh, uh this is my badge. Uh, aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. But what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I've wrestled meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Murder? Sounds cool! Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead and ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too! Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya go? Get to. This is sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. <laughs> Never you mind, honey. I'll, I can't talk yank you for you if, uh, if it pleases you. I think, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> right then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Hart. But y'all can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing media showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Hi. What happened? Oh yeah, when... When was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night. Oh wait, it happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I seen enough boats to choke a mule. What? Why are you choking a mule with boats? I kinda, kinda hard to remember which I had seen when. So what is it you do, Lana? The photographer. Huh? Me? Haha! <laughs> Y'all didn't really want to know that, do you? Or, yeah. Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. I'm the heart of the heartland. Oh, neat! Nick, she's a research student at the university. Country U! Uh, so I hear? So when did you come up here? Mm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Photographing? What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made, a genuine soul engine. I didn't even know what that word was. Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's the device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? The camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that. That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's probably going to pick up loud noises right now. Programmable camera? Neat! That don't automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected. Faces the light. Neat. Is there anything else to examine? Ah! The camera is rigged to respond to noise, but it only responds to loud noises like a party popper. Uh-huh. Trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Uh, move. Later. Boat rental shop. What's this? 
What is this place? Boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess the murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Yeah, good idea. You bet. A small boat rental shop doesn't look like anyone is around. Probably closed because it's Christmas. Oops. There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'll find any helpful clues in there. There's some boats floating at the dock. Is one of these boats used in the murder? I wonder. Can we see if there's any blood in any of them? Nick! Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Is that it? Hmm. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something's wrong, miss. There's something wrong, miss. Hmm? Turning yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shaft lending? Lost any public indecency? No, no, none of those things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Ah, oh, yes, he's in the meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. I, I don't know what to do the voice for them. I need to see a picture of him. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and don't stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? Are you the chief? This needs to be the chief. Okay, it's him. All right, we'll come up with a voice for him next time. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Go I like? Gordy sighted? I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Yeah, I, th I think that's a good voice for him. These are the detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Your mama can see you. You know she'd be crying. A break and spit. A break and spit it out. You little life scumbag. What? He must be doing image training for interrogations. What? I don't even know what that means. Oops. No. I, I already saw it. I already saw it. This thing's creepy. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. Not nice. I'll get him assigned mascots to the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Hmm, good luck. I'm giving everyone a southern accent for some reason. Poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. Really? It's right out there in the open? Nothing. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Let's go talk to... Oh, he's gone. Shit. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. All right. We need more information. Save aimlessness and confusion for later. I just I did all that. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. Okay. Um. Maybe let's go show. Or the poppers? Oh, they're gone. Fuck! Lotta? Yeah, yeah. So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yep. Yeah. Actually, the victim in this case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Camera. Didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? 
Hey, y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look see at my film. Would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once. Don't remember if there was anything on him though. What if I? Well, what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now later. Now here. Yeah? Oh, that was creepy. She went inside her SUV. 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 Wow. Don't go chasing waterfalls, Maya. I guess we should come back later. Oops. Meant to go to this one. Fuck. I guess the did become she was still in that meeting. Hey! It's not. Thanks for coming down, pal. The text of Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting for better off or for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. What you got? What you got? You know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Face was blown clean off. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Edward is just protecting everyone, isn't he? So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards, human like you or me. I, I keep giving everyone a southern, everyone a southern than accent tonight, apparently. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he would have wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So you think that the Mr. Edgeworth did it? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Yeah, the trial's starting tomorrow. is scheduled. See? Um, uh, hey, in the end, did you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go tell anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some good reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I'd think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? Hey, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. Bordering on unlawful. But there's a reason. He's a winner. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edwards is a man he, you can trust. And you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get the autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Uh, sometime between the 24th or 25th. One bullet shot to the heart. Okay. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Somebody you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Interesting. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Okay, he doesn't care about that. Come on, you like this? Okay, let's go back here. Are you back? Fuck. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about waterfalls. You know, something's been bothering me. Why don't you show me that awesome to your four ones, boy? Hey! Oh, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once and I was there to hang out with his sis. At office? Wait, you mean Grosberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him. For old time's sake. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Uh. You didn't get a new painting or 
Color match the wall. It's been a while since I was here last. Mr. Grosberg is out as usual. Hey Nick, look at the wall! The painting is still missing. He must have known about the deal with Mr. Grosberg and Mr. Wright. Or Mr. White. She kept track of all the White's extortion and blackmail rackets. Look at that wall, they're a different color! A big, a big painting was hanging there until recently. Huh? What happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. Love blooms eternal, Nick. Uh, yeah. An expensive bottle plant. No idea what kind of plant it is. Probably the most expensive one available. I think our Charlie is cuter. Right. He's a really cute plant. <laughs> Table for clients. Hmm. An elegant empty case. And if I'm not mistaken, that slider's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got a lot of money to burn. We should put things on our client table too. I'm not really into smoking. We could put our candy or gum. Classy. You you'll eat it all. Snack machine. Solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished with deep luster. Hey Nick, I want a desk like that in our office too. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to sit at a desk like that yet. Huh? I meant for me. You better be start saving your allowance then. <laughs> expensive looking mahogany bookshelves fill those expensive looking books. Hmm. Funny they don't look like they've ever been read. Well then let's take them back to our office. He won't miss them. Yeah. Fucking. She has no filter in her thoughts. Um, we don't need them. You can take that wooden bear? <laughs> hmm. It is kind of cute. Why are you. You can't steal everything, Maya. Didn't you hear the police chief yelling at you? Okay, he's he's not here. Uh, he's still not here. Let's go here and here and here and here. You. Hey, y'all. Lotta. Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. It's them. Take a look. <laughs> Wait. See? Er, see? See? He's shooting it with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who th that is shooting, and it's all silhouetted. This is also very suspicious. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. How come I didn't hear that? Did you guys hear the cookie time? What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on here? I didn't hear a cookie time. Did the thing disconnect again? Come on, dude. Counts. Yeah, dude, like, uh, the bot is not staying connected properly. account is connected but my account is stuck on retry hey try it again Lonnie see that one worked well see the bots working because those things are popping up what the hell Something is goofy. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what's up. 
That, that's a strange one. Yeah, you cook it for you. Yeah, you cook it for you. Here you go. Here you go. Better sniff and find it. How you doing, Lonnie? You doing homework? Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? You just now realize that? What? Are you serious? Car? How do you forget? Ne never mind. <gasps> Excuse me. Hiccup. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey. So I'm off to talk to the cop. Y'all gonna have this photo. Later. Wait, Lotta. What? <laughs> the music faded out and then back in. Yeah, y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cop. I'd sooner eat the, sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lana. Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey. Maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot dog. Okay, I kind of love her. He left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Take photo added to the court record. Taken automatically. 12-15. Hmm. Oh, snap. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Oh my god, it's Santa Claus. Ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you! Who the fuck is this gonna be? Is this Larry Butts? He's got a... Yeah, big old nose. Who do we know that has a nose? Long time no see, Nick. Nick! You know Santa? Well... I can see Nick. Haha. <laughs> hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. I was right. How your, your nose shrunk, bro. Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Keonce, deserves the best. Keonce. Keonce, not another model, I hope. Oh, Keonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend. You know, she bought me this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my wo what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, May of Faye. I'm, uh, a little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. Oh my god. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm his, my older sister's little sister. Huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Ah, <laughs> uh, samurai dogs. I think Maya wants one. Give her one so she can go snack out. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look kind of gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. That's funny. Ouch. The samurai thing was Keonzi's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She's all, change the name and you got a girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? 
We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. With what? What? With the big news? Big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in the Spirit Lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Shit! I didn't mean to click that. Uh, monster. Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Oh, it's really, really real. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we get uh, into the frame, I heard a loud bang. Like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Aw, oh, man. Is Lotta the murderer? That's gonna be upset. It's gonna make me upset. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Okay, so that's gonna be evidence. Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. What, one million? Grow up, Larry. What the article added to the court record? All right, what happened? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. It was with Keonsi, obviously. You wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ugh. Oh. She hit a tender spot. I think we just said caught him off guard, Maya. N no, it's just... Uh, uh Keontae's not in Thailand right now. She's really real, I promise. She she's in Hawaii, uh, on a photo shoot. Model. Anyway. Well, anyway. There was a murder here on the lake. Trials tomorrow. Uh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy! Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what he's been trying to give me for the last three episodes. Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa! Murder? How's our boy keep, keep landing models? I don't know, maybe they think of him, he, he's just like a, a golden retriever. I heard that's a thing. Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course! And he was in the same class as us in grade school. Yeah, that, that's why you know him. <laughs> what? So Mr. Andrews was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Oh, I never knew. Don't get me wrong. He's always been kind of a st stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, and his pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Oh, wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. Mr. Andrews is a prosecuting attorney. What? He's got a pros... <sighs> Larry. And he's got a proboscis on his knee? No, no. He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh? Go figure. No, he's used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. And he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Nick? I just, like, left. Uh, hey, look. Huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. Did you blow it all on Keonse? But you can have all the dogs you want. Really? And yeah. Larry, if you let her at your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. Hey, no problem if that's what makes her happy, you know. How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's move to... Boat rental, see if anything's here. Nope. All 
Alright, let's go. Nothing's gonna be. Yep. Not, not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. Uh, probably Lana. Lana Hart, it has to be. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's go to Grossberg. My husband is Golden Retriever. Ah, <laughs> uh, that old familiar clearing his throat. I forgot the voice we gave him. Does anyone remember? Aha! You're Maya something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix right. Ha! And your Minya's something too, are you not? Little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. Creep. It takes me back. Ah, uh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Huh? <laughs> yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Uh, I'm an attorney. You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. It's mine. How proud Mia would be if she could see you now. She said she was more worried about me than anything. Uh, just go on and take the compliment, will you? Okay. Uh, talk to you about that painting. Mr. Groundsberg, what happened to that painting? Ah, uh, yes. I do not think of it. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's just my desserts. I suppose it's my oh my just desserts. Oh, bitter desserts. There was a murder last night. Murder? You haven't heard? I just got up. You see, well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. But this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Balls! Uh, what do you think about Gordy? Yeah. I'm not sure I can help you with that. Okay. What about... This? So, this camera on the lake takes a photo whenever he has an explosion sound? That's what she said. And it just happened to be set up on the beach, pointing out at the lake. I changed his voice on accident. Yeah, she said it was this photograph shooting stars. Hmm, shooting stars. Explosions. What's the connection? I'd be suspicious of this witness of yours. So this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Yeah. You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. Hmm. Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer. Here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond. Robert Hammond. It's a play on... Why is, dude, you know what? I'm just going to restart the bot. No, nothing's working right. What the hey, bro? Let's see if that did anything. Any more 16? How's 16 going? You guys doing some raids? Yeah, we're playing some lawyer in. Doing some lawyer in here. Can you save this man shot? And Miles Edwards shot? Sure, I guess. Uh, move. Fuck. All right, what am I missing here? What would she do? Hmm. The police have pretty much made up their minds that Mr. Edwards did it. 
The mystery just won't tell us anything. I guess we go look for clues down by the lake. Right, uh, we did that. Well, any free thought? What? Thought? Yeah, well, why won't Mr. Edgeworth tell us anything? And then, and why did he refuse to ask for our help? What a jerk! <laughs> Alright. Do this jump skippy roo again then. He doesn't have anything. Nothing here. Maybe she's back. Oops. Hmm. You weren't one talking to Bronzeburg, I don't think. What? It's got a lost wing. Don't know what that is. I guess Sid is staging a coup. I'm like, okay, I just want to pet the dog. <laughs> you weren't done talking to Grosberg, you don't think? Was I not? You might be right. No, damn it. I saw it. Wait a minute. It doesn't even give me the Grosberg option. There it goes. Oops. Ah. Right, I, I was uh, presenting stuff. I forgot to check the this one again. Who's this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond! Who is the defense attorney in that case? That case? Yes, the DL6 incident! DL6, what does that sound? Why does it sound familiar? That's that one special case. Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, I don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Faye, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was at a loss. No conviction was made. Dio 6 incident, yes. When 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. A testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out of that, right, Mr. Grosberg? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's quiet. Thank you. No, no, please. Don't mention it. DL6. Dick Long 6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait! What does that case have to do... Anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in DL6 incident was none other than his father. Gregory Edgeworth. Whoa. This universe is like six people long. Did I? Oh, dude. OBS was closed. Or like minimized. I thought it like crashed and I didn't realize it. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't lose you guys, right? What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. Exhi DL6 incident exhibit A is written on the back. Interesting. You just holding on to these pictures, the weirdo? Didn't lose nothing? Good, thank you. What's this? I've been hiding in a corner so you can find me. I was hoping you got my message the first time. Edwards, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. All right. Ass hat. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not trying to do this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? Why did you go to Gord Lake? no intention on telling you. Nor, nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. 
Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Ugh, so itchy. Hey, look, present. Edward? Only been a matter of yeah hours since you last visited. I've I've been here. But you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if I sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay anyway? Stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. I changed his voice on accident. I just realized I, I was giving him a uh, Powers voice. I was giving him a mix of Edgeworth and Powers. Hedgeworth. Miles Edgelord. <laughs> Alright, we can talk. The DL6 incident. There, that's his voice. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed when I saw it all. My memories from that day time are foggy. I suppose in it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond who cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond. Is the victim in the Gord Lake mur or in Hammond is the victim of the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, a spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean your It's strange. Oh my god. Where'd that come from? Cat somehow punch you in the danger zone. <laughs> Sorry, dude. F's in chat for Kira. It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end. Ooh, excuse me. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th! The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When the case statute of limitations are out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? Innocent? Innocent. I don't know. He disappeared from the public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Greg Gregory Edgeworth. He was a quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. All right. Uh, check this out. Hmm. Would have thought there'd be a photo. Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of kind of point a gun at anyone. No. They didn't shoot him. No, he didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know you want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Yeah, fine. Ah, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. It's my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Hmm. My letter of request. Please give it to the detective from shoot. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I guess we should. 
What's that? Earthquake? Earthquake, Nick! It's a big one! Ah! Coming down! Was it actually an earthquake? Oh, that was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? What the fuck? Some paranormal activity stuff happening? There. He's on the floor in the ball shivering. I guess they doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Was that just to get him out of the scene? This writer doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. I have to give Edward's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. I wanted to ask him about other stuff. What's going on here? Hey. What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to you all about hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all, ab all this about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? No, 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 not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Ah. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Still out, bro. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photograph who it is or who it is shooting. That's why she says she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of might, but should let us do what's who, who's who. <laughs> she can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. In any case, she's going to be the one to testify tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? The fuck? I'm afraid tomorrow's going to be the life or death for poor, or life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she's on um, very moment the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. Say this sounds a lot like pretty unwinnable case. Wait, what did me use to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. It sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. We still got time, pal. Go talk to him again for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. I got you, fam. Check this out. Blam! Take that! Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to fire those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal! Oh, look at them all happy. Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Oh, something's gonna be shaking up at the... The other areas, huh? Worried. You're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Ah, uh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. All oh, right. He did seem to overact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not so surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You do go eat and get, and go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. And yet I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. I like seeing how much Gumshoe actually respects Edgeworth. I just like Gumshoe. In general. He's a fun dude. Karma? What the? That's right. Anfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case! He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. 
Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Anfred von Karma is a man to be feared. Quite a claim coming from someone who for forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? This picture of a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of 10. Uh, so, was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. Now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out! Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. As loses as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Uh-huh. <laughs> we could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My power's a week again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, that's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Get our girls to a waterfall now. Just, you know, go go smack on a hydrant a few times. Run a car into it. Take a quick shower with the hydrant. It'd be good. That guy looks like a horrible painting. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Who the fuck? Look at this asshole. What voice are we gonna give him? Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool! Makes me think of, uh, have you guys seen Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur. Soul Eater. And, uh, Excalibur. He has a deep and menacing voice when he yells objection, does he? I was gonna give him like a, a Sean Connery voice. Something like this. I think we're gonna go with that because it's different than all the vo other voices I've been doing that are very close to each other. I seriously think that it would, I would stand here when I'm not completely prepared. Right. Any apologies. He's even got the, j whoa. He's even got the judge scared. Oh, I just realized, I just realized this whole thing has been fucked up. There. Wow. All right. What the fuck? And the pitch was all jacked up since when? All right. That, that whole, the whole talking my brain thing was uh, fucked up. Very well. Your opening statement, please. It's also implied he's German. I don't know if I can do a German accent. Can you German accent? I don't know if I can do a German accent. I can't think of one right now. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could have possibly be required? Um, nothing, of course. I should be fine. Prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? Am I supposed to fight against this? I called it. Uh, I called the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident now. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. Why is there bullets on the map? The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 2.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. And the boat started to move. What if it was a backfire? It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. We're heading map at it, okay. 
testify to the court about the arrest. Now. Re. Yvonne Gama. Yes. Actually, actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. I think this is the same thing. That, is that where Edgeworth got his thing? Wrong. There's, there is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course. You're right. What the fuck, bro? No, he's not! The man called in the station about 30 minutes after midnight. The man called into the station about around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him on anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. I see you very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now. Damn, dude. Man call, okay. Received a call from a man? Uh, yep. He said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Holy shit. He sounds like fucking a Mortal Kombat villain. Did you hear that? That woman and that man who were called in report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There are two witnesses. Yeah. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who's camping. A lot of heart. What happened next, Detective? I didn't gumshoe gumshoe's voice? Did I not? We handed at the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long was it between your seething report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. A motto for the month is get there quick. <laughs> Fuck, that's terrifying. Should I give him a fucking gnarly ass voice? Like, objection. My name is something Von Karma. I, I think we should do that. I... Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Holy fuck. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. Yeah, yes, sir. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Shit, I didn't mean to skip that. Let's go back. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not, not like a murderer at all, really. Fuck, dude, that's terrifying. Detective, this court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, Detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. I didn't expect anything from him at all. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Dude, I'm not going to get over that. Yeah, it's he's fucking scary. Detective, the court isn't interested in your music. Deep, trusting, pop my cock, ah, uh, poppy cock. I've never learned so many flippant comments from an attacking detective on the force. Eh. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. Continue. That, that, that's like when you die in Mortal Kombat. Continue. Continue. Yeah, see? You can hear it. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. Was shot through the heart. Italy. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. Found the victim's body. From a 22? 
That's a tiny ass bullet. That's you have to be like pressed up against their chest to hope that that does anything. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. Murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Fuck! R right. So, sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was a decisive evidence. <laughs> what about the pistol made a decisive evidence? He has seen evil laugh as Edgeworth. Uh, there were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. There were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Oh, she's gonna be left handed. What? Murder. Murder. So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found in the murder weapon? Y yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accepted in. Oh, wrong voice. Accepted in the evidence. Order weapon 22 caliber finds three times bears prints from Edward's right hand. Fired three times. That's interesting. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes. The ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Here. Hey, Nick. What does he mean? Ballistic markings. Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. What a dick. Nick, he's glaring at me. Very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Er, er, me? <clears throat> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet and fires. We're going to examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was, without a doubt, fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was recovered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Order, order. This is bad. This makes it look like Edward did it. Well, Judge. I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However. You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess for the last ten minutes. Judge! Yes? What are you doing? A ten-minute recess? No! But, 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 wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Yes! Oh my god. Um, this court will take a 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Holy fucking A, dude. Edgeworth, what's going on in here? Your fingerprints from their murder weapon. Uh, mm. That foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man in the person was the man in the photo. True. Is that you in the boat? Yes. Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I going to convince anyone of that? Hey, Maya. Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh, that's making her feel bad. Like, we just have her around for no reason. Oh, sorry. It's no good. Uh. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? Oh, it's awful. I can't call my sister. I might as well not be here, right? I need you here. No, of course not. I need you here. You can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's a thought that counts, right? Oh, that was the worst thing you could say. It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. 
I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium. We can't even contact spirits. You are lost. Remember the metal detector. There's a metal detector? What metal detector? Metal detector! Uh, uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, I didn't mean to read whoa. That was him jumping in front and scaring me. Whoa. Right. Don't jinx this case more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Uh, oh, sorry. Whoops. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, I'm your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lara Hart take the stand? Lara Hart, you are a research student at the university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. Don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? <laughs> Oh, dude, they're gonna go head to head. I, I think she can take him. I think she can take him. Y'all need to learn some manners. I don't need manners when I got a cloth like this. Understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well, your testimony, please. I was, it was Christmas Eve just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang came up from the lake. When I looked out of the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't an area thing on the lake but that boat. That's it? Enough. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, accepted as evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. No, wrong voice. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Order. I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have an order immediately. Oh, that's like the first threat he's ever done. You may think the metal detector of the prophecy will only be needed once, but the wiser you'd be knowing that is false. I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes. It was that it was the defendant Miles Edgeworth. Clap, clap, clap. Order. 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 I will help order. Well, Judge. It's a creepy light. Eyebrow raise that he does. Oof. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Wait, I get to do it. Very well. This court finds the defendant. Hold it! Objection. Damn it. I was hoping it was hold it. Wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross examined the witness yet. A cross examination? We have photographic proof. What question could there possibly be? Who the people are? They're just silhouettes, bruh. This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. You lose. Continue. He's a fucking Mortal Kombat announcer, I swear. Or you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony. Very well. If you have to, you may cross examine the witness. You will only flounder at asking meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. You can't do that. And I'm, I'm doing my job. Contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. But what are you gonna do? You really think there was a contradiction of the facts in the testimony? Uh, I hope so. The two shots. That could be one. I'm, I'm almost certain Karma is like, he's involved or he did it or something. He is far too confident and creepy. You'll see in time, but remember that this episode is full of Really short testimonies. That's fine. But I don't understand metal detector prophecy. All right. Uh, I think there was. 
I think I noticed one little thing. Oh, I'm surprised Nick, I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. Slam the desk. I understand, I will cross-examine the witness. Very well. I pray for your sake, this isn't a waste of time. Alright, what do you got? That was Christmas Eve just after midnight, I reckon. Oh wait, it was Christmas Eve just after midnight, I reckon. It's after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Oh uh, yeah, well, yes. Shut up. I know you want to find contradictions, but really... Uh. Oh shit, am I gonna get in trouble for not- uh-oh. I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. Oh shit. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. So you weren't looking at the lake at all- at all, or like at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. You said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. Eh. Just didn't get mad. And I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. He's gonna get mad because you saw that in the photo. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. They lean enough for you. Uh-oh. That's further. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. As if was asking if you saw the two men. Yeah, that's important. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also... Oh. Wrong voice. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. And there was another bang. Yeah, two shots. He said three shots were fired from the gun. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. On karma, I think I hate you. <laughs> He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? There was a nearly thing on the rope. Or there was a nearly thing on the lake but that boat. There weren't any contradictions in there. Sorry, Nick, if only my sister were here. I was really taking this hard. Okay, let's do... And I look, oh, two gents, there was another bang, present. Fired three times. Shit! That one's not one. Okay. There was another bang. There was thing on the boat. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in the boat. I heard this bang come from the lake. It was in my car. It was Christmas Eve. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. camping there anyway. I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. It's hard. Could you be more specific about your research? Shut up, you! What does the witness's motive in the camping by the lake have to do with the case? It's, it's suspicious that she's meteor shower watching with microphone detecting explosions the answer is nothing i object to this line of questioning of course you would objection sustained <laughs> wait, wait wait i'm the one who says that well then say it already objection sustained fuck off thanks for nothing your honor well that sucks 
Uh, doesn't she say in one of her statements that she heard two bangs? Yeah, it's the next one. Um, I heard this bang from the link. Then I looked out, saw the thing, and then I, there was another bang. But she doesn't say there's two. It says right here, there was another. And that's why I tried to present this. And they didn't like it. Maybe I can present this. Fuck! Another bang. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country cow can be. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds pretty sure. Let's press further. How come you're so sure? Oops, how come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scan the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. It's hard. You. Of course. Mr. Wright, witness has answered the question in full. Mm. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Yes, of course. Wow, dude. Oh, great. Shit. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, but your honor! Come on, Mia, show up! Keep your you keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts. Fuck! I'm holding you in contempt of court. Uh, I'm holding you in contempt of court. If that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood. Fuck. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nick, all this testimony's fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. And pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edwards, please take the stand. What? Yo, 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 yo. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Yeah, dude! It was me! Maya! Is something wrong? Do you need to use the facilities? No, I don't! Not a heart! Your testimony stinks! It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth! Just a matter of life or death! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand that wrong voice. You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lana! What's the big deal? Treat me like some kind of criminal. I saw him, I swear. I saw Edgeworth. Enough. Judge, declare the defense in contempt of court. Yes. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. God, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He's in contempt of court and must leave. No! Oh. No! Ah, oh, shit. Wait. Wait! I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Shut up, you! You're just threatened! Ah. Uh, what's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong, bitch! I'm not scared of you! Wrong! Wait, wrong. <laughs> I, that's me just trying to be scared back at him. What? Did you hear what Ms. Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony. I have a right to cross-examine her again. Ah, exact! Forgot which one, but I'm pretty sure you're going to have to have to object with the news article. Yeah, that's this one, probably. Order. 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 You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Stand up for yourself, Judge. Tell him he's a bitch and he needs to sit down. I'm sorry, Mr. Barnagarma, but I cannot. What? 
Miss Lara Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But he's in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Look at her go. I'm proud of her. Mm. Very well. I have faith. You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Maya. Thank you. you Might have saved this court or this trial. I care not for the melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. And he's gonna badger my or badger them when he needs a what? I'm running out of time. Better find a contradiction here else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross examination. Fuck. Am I actually gonna take damage? Alright, we might actually have to start saving it in a different save slot and stuff bad in case bad stuff happens. I saw clear as day the man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Lies! Well, what about the other man? No, you! Don't object to all my objections. You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claim there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it. You can. Mr. Wright, I'll have to assign you a penalty. Son of a bonky! Damn. Okay. That's it? Uh oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. I can't squander my efforts either. Shit balls. I saw it clear as day, the man on the boat. It was Mr. Edgeworth. That's it? Oh. I couldn't press her on that? Why? You can't see it clear as day. Objection. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. Well, you got what? Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph! Photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. Th so? This picture was taken with professional high-quality film, correct? Yet even it, it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Bam! Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. Ow! What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. Yeah, of course you do. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. He's hard. What? Would you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course. I said I couldn't. I said I could not admit I could. And please, then please testify to the circumstances as of, of your sighting. I did it. Thank you, Maya. Finally found a hole in the Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. Oh, Edgeworth was seen. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grit. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back into the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Interesting. When I heard that noise out in the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm. Use binoculars. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. All right, what do we got? It's a cold night, and the mist was thick as grits. Uh-huh. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard the noise out of the lake, I looked with my binoculars. It might be her camera. Cold night and the mist was thick as grits.
Could be that one. Or... Shit. Wasn't that one. Did I just do the same thing again, like an idiot? I think I did. Yep, that's not it either. Look at our stuff here. We got a picture loud noise. Time of death. The picture was automatically taken. Why did you set up your photo? Why did you set up? Why would you set up your camera when the mist was thick? putting together here it's weird right that why would you be setting up a photo to look at i guess fog is on the ground but why is it looking at the lake if she's trying to capture meteor showers i got a bullet automatically okay so once i finished setting my camera i got back in the car still i brought my binoculars with me and i heard that noise out in the lake i looked with my binoculars Couldn't take her star photos with the sound. Yeah, that's the other thing that's weird. Like, why is her camera looking at the lake if she's trying to get a meteor shower, which is up? And why would the why would you even want a mic pick up sounds? Meteor shower doesn't make a sound. Is the cold mint? Wait. Does the cold have something to do with it? heard that noise on the lake it looked like my binoculars or I looked with my binoculars the noise nope balls like why can't I present the evidence that I know is contradictory weird here binoculars yeah binoculars or yeah binoculars yesterday you mentioned that you were look out looking for shooting stars correct well yeah when you need a telescope for no, not binoculars for that okay i've got doubts about your camera too does that really take pictures of meteor showers thank you that's what we were trying to get 
or is relevant to this case. It's very relevant. You can't say that for certain. Mm, Mr. Wright, is that camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with, with this, there will be consequences. Such as a paddle on the taut little bottom of yours. Got it, Mr. Wright? You wish to press further about the camera? Absolutely. This is make it or break it time. Do, do I only have one life left? Because that would suck. The camera is of the utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow. Maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hart, you would testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meter shower. Lies. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, it's in the middle. The camera was set up to take, or the camera was set up to take pictures of meteor showers. When I heard that noise out of the lake, I looked with my binoculars. I don't care how many Von Karma. <laughs> I don't care how many Von Karmic objections I get. I'm going to find a hole in this testimony. It's the last thing I do. Cold. Finish the camera. The camera set up. Lies. Loud noise. There it is. That's what I was trying to get from the beginning. You're photographing shooting stars? That's a lie. Says who? Says me! I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Ugh. I like our shoes. Mr. Ray, what are you driving at? You are obtuse, sir. Obtuse? Dense. The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. She was to photograph murder setup. But well, then, what exactly was she photographing? Uh... Your Honor, take a look at this. What was Miss Hart trying to photograph at the lake? I think she was honestly trying to take... This. But... With all the hubbub... It's hard. This is what you were trying to photograph. This is a newspaper article. Gordy. Ah, the sighting ain't Gordy. Well, Miss Hart, why wouldn't you just admit that? Ah, I, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's say you proved that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Uh. I have it. Proof. Do I? Mm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. What is proof that the witness is trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster? The... this. Shit. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. The mic. Finally, it's all... Ah, finally. The camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, the photograph here taken when a gun fired on the lake. Oh, thank God she wasn't part of it. And here's the article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? Why wouldn't you say that? That's why you said it for camera to respond to loud noises. Order. Order. I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Why don't you admit that? Yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That doesn't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. But you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove. It's nothing more than the... The witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Oh, she's gonna turn on you now, sucker. Hey! But, as she succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true! You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it! But what could have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. It's hard. Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy for the, from the court? Please revise your testimony. Oh, God. Another revision. Here we go! Buckle up! Ah! 
right. Oh, wait. Wrong voice. All right. Fine. I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. And I'm going to spot it. Ooh, he's worried. He's got dots. Not his new testimony. Actually, I'm not a research student at our university. I'm an investigative... Investigative... <laughs> investigative... I can't pronounce that word. Investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard that the bang, I looked straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. When I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at the boat the whole time. Crossed my heart and hoped to fry. Hmm. Ready, Mr. Wright? You may cross-examine the witness. Yo, it's my turn. Shut up. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. There's plenty of changes. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There's no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. What you scared of, bro? What you scared of, huh? Oh, look at Phoenix standing up to this big, scary prosecutor man. I claim the defense is right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von Karma's up to something. I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Is there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Huh, that would be a farce. <laughs> Very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. Shit. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Her new, new testimony. Actually, I'm not a research student at the re university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop would be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. That's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I watched the boat the whole time. And I saw a flash near one of the man's hands, and I heard another gunshot. Investigative photographer, imagine what a scoop would be, blah, 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 blah. That's why I was camping out. That's when I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I watched the boat the whole time. And I saw a flash. And I heard another gunshot. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at the time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe... He was shot from some other place? I don't think so, nope. The lake was smooth as glass and nobody was on the shore, neither. How do you know? Hmm. You better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. Oh, I thought I was going to get punished. Am I... Am I allowed to press her on all these? In what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm highfalutin enough to be called a manner of anything. <laughs> Aha! Okay, I'm not getting punished for pressing. An investigative photographer. Yep. You get your photo and sell it to the press? It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures of my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Um, what? There was a... What's a UFO? Oh, a UFO. That's funny. There was a UFO just hanging in the sky. A UFO? You know, unidentified flying object, a UFO. <laughs> That's when I had sort of a revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. But I see. Kind of shaky basis for a career. Okay. Oh, this is so much better. Imagine a scoop. Yep. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah! They even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on the local news rumor of month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey! I also had a picture of him in the newspaper. For real! Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Oh, wrong voice. 
This is one fight I do not believe you could win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Y yes, Your Honor. Shit. That's why I was camping out, but that's why I was camping out by the lake. That's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera? Yep. Borrowed it from a university professor. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. Mm hmm. You sure? I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if Wara got out what I was up to, the lake would be swarmed with competitors. Competitors? Yeah! Second rate shutter bugs trying to steal my scoop. Uh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually. Shut up, you! I want to know! Mr. Wright. Not have you asking questions with no relevant relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma. I know you told her to keep quiet. When I heard the bang. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can, can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. Just watch the boat. There wasn't much else to look at. Meteor shower. Oh, I guess you weren't looking meteor showers. Oh. Yep. I don't know. She heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. Huh. What do I... What did I do now? You're look, giving me that look for... Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush, puppies, pups. I'm getting there. Okay, maybe that one was giving me a clue that there's evidence there. Was there nothing on the lake on the boat at that time? Oh, we did this one. Okay, so let's go to that one. Watch the boat the whole time. With the gunshot. Okay, let's present. So I watched the boat the whole time. Objection. That's not it. Objection. What's up, Mesmer? How you doing, dude? We're, uh, we're figuring things out. We got a freaking, uh, Mortal Kombat villain up against us. Which is bad. Oops. All hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I watched the boat the whole time. That's the one I wanted to present. I want to know what time she looked out. Shit. This one's hard, dude. Still have nightmares about karma to this day. <laughs> you know the time from the photo? Um, yeah, but I want to know the time that she's looking at things. Because she hasn't mentioned a time. 
She mentioned a time way earlier, but there's none in this one. Oops. Why wouldn't... Why wouldn't you run to your camera? Oh, wait. Hold on. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands and I heard another gunshot. What if I do this one? Because it says cause one bullet shot of heart. Why would there be two shots? That's not it. That's not it. So near... When the photo was taken... Yeah. So we know that from earlier. Um, but yeah, she doesn't have any any time mentions here. So that's all I was hiding when I heard the bang. I looked straight out to the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the full time. Why would... Yeah, if she's looking for... Um, why, why wouldn't she be looking at Gordy? Or like, poor Gordy. Like, if she heard a loud sound. She would either A, run to her camera. Or B... Scan the lake for Gordy. Why was she... There it is. We just presented this. It's hard. Were you really looking at the boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. I was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you are far from normal. But what? Y'all want to step over here and say that? We're camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give this boat a second thought. Ah! Order. Continue, Mr. Wright. You justified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. That's a lie. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well, why is she lying? Well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there, no? Miss Hart, or Miss Hart, are you saying that you are not watching the boat then? So that disqualifies your testimony. Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be a witness in a murder and all. Oh my god. You wasted resources. That's prison time, dude. I got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This, this is totally uncalled for. But, but, but hey, you got the photograph. You got proof. Mm. Yeah, we can't see who was shooting. Who we can't see who's shooting who in it. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and blew it up. Ooh. Ooh, he doesn't want us to see the blown up photo. Ooh. Witness, that's enough. You've seen a, you've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? What's she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say gumshoe. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from a photo who's shooting. That's why she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of mine, but should let us see who's who. Ha ha! Sucker! She enlarged the photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? Because he does. It reveals that it's not Edgeworth. Yeah, I've got a hunch. Yo, look at the back, black background. I don't think we've seen that yet. I bet that a large photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, I'll mean it'll mean prison time for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Show it! Show it! Show the pics! It's hard. Look at this photograph! You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Oh, I wish it went to Von Karma and he was like, fuck! Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? There it is. But because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, ugly! Y'all fool! Oh, get him. Get him. What's the meaning of this, Von, Mr. Von Karma? <laughs> it's hard. Show the photo of the court. Show us the enlargement. 
Uh, uh, the enlargement of the photo. Specifically, not the other one. Prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. Ah, how you like them words? We need to show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Hmm. We still can't see who's. Or we still can't see who's firing this. Could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. However, I want to look at that again. It's not added to evidence yet. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. There it is. Big photo added to the court record. Aha! Wrong hand! Because it said it, uh, it had Edgeworth's right hand print. That is left handed, bitches. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Very, very much so. Mm -mm. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement, you got the enlargement. That is the name of my penis. And little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means it's a grass examination. It's over, obviously. No! No, 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 no. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when the trial began. Decisive evidence, a decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then, then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Hold it! Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Object to the enlargement! I don't want to see a part of it. Yeah, the enlargements. The enlargements. There's a contradiction between the gun and... Oh, yeah, we knew that. <laughs> enlargement. Connor! There's something decidedly wrong with this enlargement. It might dead be. I know we're over time, but I'm, I'm sucked into this right now. Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. Yes, hand. Blam! Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is straight? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does n does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence the left hand contradicts. And na 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 This one. Ha ha! Right hand. Take that! Take that! The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. Is that that? See, it's Von Karma because he's left-handed doing the. I said that earlier, I think. However, the prints on the murder weapon are from Edward's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, <gasps> shocking! Yes. Look at Karma. Look at him. Excuse me. Now that everyone is in the courtroom and has quieted down, I would like to reconvene the court, this court of law. Mr. Wright. No, I'm on a roll, bro. Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Redworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Redworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? That ugly motherfucker. And if not, I'm going to find a way to frame him. Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? The victim himself. I'm gonna say. Because they don't like me making jokes anymore. They get mad. Data has a better sleep schedule than all of us. Yeah, I wish I could sleep like her. She sleeps like 20 hours a day. I mean, Miss Hart could have. There was two shots. 
So, well, there was three. He could have tried to fire, missed a struggle shot. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order. Order. So you were saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Eh. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. You fought Garuda and let me just say, Awuga? Have you never fought Garuda? Lee, uh, you fought Garuda. You fought Garuda. Objection. Shut up, you! I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. The suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. That would have been nice to have been put into evidence. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That's three feet. See, he's left-handed. There's no way it could have been a suicide. Why wasn't that submitted to evidence? That better not punish me, because that was not a thing. Order. Order. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure the exterior of your data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. I'm... Oh, it was nice that it was finally updated. Hmm. I see. Clap. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. I didn't mean to skip that one. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be def had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints in the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders for the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, you better be quiet. That is all. The court is adjourned. Na 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 na. Hey, does anyone know if there's gonna be like a chapter end? Because we're at stream time. I just started. Oh, 16. I'm. I keep getting 16 and 14 switched in my brain, dude. I, something happened when I fought her. I had to take a clip of it. I don't remember what it was, but some weird happened when I fought her. Rudest eyes in 4K. Yeah, it's different when it's uh, not an MMO too, huh? There's a check of this lobby scene. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't prove the guiltiness. I prove the, the not guiltiness. Ooh, that was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, I got you off the hook of being a suspect. Well, yeah, but what happened out there on that lake, anyway? If you didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. We're just kidding around. Look, I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh, right. Um, I messed up his voice. Right. Boncho, fuck! I can't, tr I can't channel Boncho. Need to channel Boncho. Why does Boncho sound wrong? It's Boncho. Boncho sushi. What? Tell her something for me. There it is. What? Tell, tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. I kill you to just state how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth. No. He's got a, he's got that sweet edge. I wrote pushes this into the transcript of Lotto's, Lotto's entire testimony. All four of them. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course she didn't see the shooter. The only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lotto's deposition added to the court record. Her two sounds like gunshots just after midnight. Okay. Do we continue? Do we continue? Oh, and it saved for us. Safe. It did auto save and then it asked us to save. Don't you dare jump into it. Options. 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 Ha ha ha. Battle screen. Ah. We did it. 
We did it, friends. Uh, let's see. Also, I think, um... Ah, there it goes. They were enabled. Okay. Edgeworth has British soldiers? What? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, let's see. Uh, today is Wednesday. I don't have to go into the office tomorrow, which is great. Uh, let's see. What's the plan? Uh, tomorrow is normal stream day off. Friday, we're going to be playing, uh, some Baldur's Gate 3. Continue our dirge run. Our evil dirge run. Looking forward to that. Uh, and then next week, we're going to continue playing these. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth comes out at the end of the month. Super excited for that one. Um, if you guys don't already have the bell hit, hit that bell. Um, we'll, as soon as I get it in the mail uh, and delivered, we're going to be opening the collector's edition and revealing that on stream. And then uh, the downside is I'll have to think about it because I want to like open it with stream, but at the same time, I need to install the game because it's like a billion gigs long or big, right? So I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll I, I don't know. Maybe we'll put up a vote in Discord on what you guys want to see. Maybe we can do a just a quick unboxing just to look at it and then install it. Or do you guys want me to open it, install it, and then do it all at once and just try to avoid seeing anything? I don't know. Um, but I'm excited for that. Uh, what else? I was talking with Jim. Uh, Jim has been uh, started streaming again a little bit off and on, which is great. Um, they're feeling well enough to stream. So here, hold on. I'll give um Jim and not give Jim and not uh, a little shout out there. Um, I got them and I uh, Super Bunny Man, Super Bunny Man, Super Bunny Man. It's it's a goofy physics goofy game. Um, because you guys like seeing us, uh, try to work together, being all Chaos Goblin-y and screwing each other over. So I got that for a couple of years ago, I think. And, uh, since they started streaming again, they, I messaged them, was like, yo, we should totally play some Super Bunny Man. And they're up for it. So maybe one of these days, uh, we'll visit that. I'll, I'll try to make it a, an event because it should be silly, goofy fun. Um, maybe a weekend, maybe a, a Thursday. I don't know. They're, there's a lot of stuff coming down. We don't know when the Elden Ring DLC is coming through. Something about that. When that comes down, uh, I'll be getting it. And I'll also be I'm thinking we'll, have to, we'll probably start a new run because it's a Soulsborne game. You can't stop playing it for eight months and then try to go back to it and expect to do well or remember how things work. So we might start a new run. But more importantly, I'm going to it has a current Elden Ring has crowd control support so you guys can royally screw with my game like you did in uh what was it dark souls 3 and some of the other games and give me giant heads and insta give me and all sorts of good good stuff so that's gonna be enabled that's coming down the pike as well uh but we just don't know when that dlc comes out uh other than that let's see can we go oh, come on are you gonna are you gonna open up are you gonna open Come on, there it goes. Let's see, can we uh, can we go for a, a little bit of a raid? <gasps> Mayhaps a little bit of a raid. Let's see, who's streaming? Who's streaming? I did. Rue is playing Remnant, Remnant Two, I should say. Carl's playing Sea of Thieves. What's home safety hotline? That sounds interesting. Oh, that's a dog. It's, time. it's an ad, but it's a dog. Uh, Tizlaru is playing some Baldur's Gate 3. I never really raided them, though. I kind of want to be able to raid and run someone because I'm going to go eat some food. Let's go read Carl. Raid Carl Sagan's. Cat. It's Carl Sagan's cat, not Carl Sagan's scat. So if you guys have a... Feel free, if you're a sub, feel free to grab that sub raid message. If you're not, feel free to use the one provided or uh, use any of the, ra or the emails that are available to you. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt them shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out there very much need. 
Anyways, I invasive. Thank you so much for hanging up. Thanks, thank you so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all next time. See ya. Yeah, let's go get some food. Let's go. <laughs>